With winds up to 300 miles an hour and billion dollar paths of destruction, tornadoes are some of the least understood phenomena in nature. For years, meteorologists and scientists have been trying to decipher how and when tornadoes form. That's why electronics engineer Tim Samaris and his team of storm chasers head straight for the action when everyone else is running away. Samaris travels with all sorts of low and high tech tracking devices, whatever it takes to get closer than anyone has ever been. In the back of Tim's van are six 45-pound probes packed with instruments that measure barometric pressure, wind speed and direction, temperature, and humidity. Any measurements these probes get from the center of the tornado would become the basis of a better understanding of how they form and how they maintain their strength. Photo engineers at National Geographic designed a probe and stuffed it full of still and video cameras with the hope it will survive the onslaught of these violent storms. It was lightning. Wow. <laughs> if they can somehow manage to set down their probes directly into the tornado's path, will the devices be able to record anything or will they be smashed to smithereens? First things first, getting Mother Nature to cooperate. In the spring, when warm, humid air rushing up from the south collides with cooler, dry air pushing down from Canada, severe storms, or supercells, are formed. When these masses collide, conditions are ripe for tornado formation. But scientists still aren't sure exactly what in these conditions causes a tornado to form. And when you take a look, it's obvious that although they generally form under the same conditions, they come in all shapes and sizes. More than 1,000 tornadoes touch down every year in the United States, the majority forming in a swath of the central plains known as Tornado Alley. The team first sets out on May 3rd toward a promising set of conditions in the Texas Panhandle. Over the next six weeks, they rack up over 25,000 miles as they crisscross eight states hunting for that elusive, perfect location. But when all goes well, the action is fast and furious. It's great. For Tim, he needs less than 10 seconds to flip a switch, make sure the probe is facing north, and run back to the car. Then back to waiting, hoping the tornado doesn't swerve. For once, the storm chasers have luck on their side. They get their probes into position just minutes before a massive tornado hits. This is probe three. Um, you can actually tell this side of the probe was actually the one that was facing the tornado. And as you can see, there's lots of debris, pox, where who knows what actually impacted the probe. With the new data from the probe, Tim made a surprising discovery. The barometric pressure inside a tornado drops farther than anyone realized, helping explain how tornadoes maintain their strength. The probe recorded images from the edge of a twister but none from inside the tornado. The, the closer I come to that type of natural phenomenons, the more you, you detect, the more you can discover them, the, the bigger is the fascination. 